sleep, okay? I think I'm sleeping for about 28 minutes. <laughs> well, sleep is overrated. You know what the best thing is about when you have sex? Making up for lost time. Being with you, that's more than I ever could have wanted. I could lie here forever. <laughs> Except it is New Year's Eve and we uh, haven't made any plans. You want to go out? I, I don't know, who knows, we might actually have fun and the best part, we get to come home together. That is actually an excellent point. You know, I was actually supposed to perform at the Haunted Star. That's not going on. Since what's happened with Johnny. Johnny, did you, did you kill someone else? I can't tell you how much I regret it. Star, please tell me you're not thinking about Johnny while you're lying in bed with me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, should I be jealous, or...? No, no, not at all. I just, I'm... I'm starting to feel sorry for him. Well, it's not like anybody forced him to marry Connie. I'm not so sure about that. Remember... Remember I told you um, that Johnny was talking to me the other day? Yeah, when your dad called you to his office because he was having a fake heart attack. Yeah, well, that conversation I had with Johnny wasn't exactly a normal one. It was it was more of a confession. Of what? You don't want to know. Trust me, I wish I didn't. Well, if Johnny's struggling with something, why would he dump it on you? I think that maybe he just needed to tell... Someone, anyone. Michael, you should have seen the look on his face. He was really distraught by what he'd done. What the hell? I should go talk to Johnny. What, today? Well, whatever it is he was trying to tell me, there's obviously more of it. Do you want me to go with you? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know how talkative he would be in front of his worst enemy's son. No, you're probably right. While you're doing that, I think I'm gonna go see my dad. Which one? You know what, I haven't even talked to either of them since before Christmas Eve. Well, we have been a little busy. <laughs> yeah, and I check my messages, they each think I spent Christmas with the other one. We probably should have called. Like you said, we've been a little busy. But yeah, I probably should tell them what's going on. Do we really have to leave this bed and venture out into the cruel, cold world? I'm not in much of a hurry. Really? Are you? Neither am I. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> gotta say, looks like you got a little spirit back. It feels good to be back in the ring because I haven't been here since the day with AJ, you know. Okay, he provokes you to give him that beat down. And he let Michael watch it, right? I just hate that he actually just set up for it. Well, you can't be sure that it did. I mean, look. I thought I must have told Michael the truth by now. Yeah, but if she did, it, w it, it wasn't enough, because that's why he went to AJ's place on Christmas Eve instead of mine, you know? You're wrong about that. Johnny is, um, away on business. It's New Year's Eve. Tonight is his party here. Yeah, and Lulu's taking care of it. But, uh, what are you doing here anyway? I thought you hated Johnny because he married me. Well, I certainly hate you. Well, that's one out of two. What do you want me to say to you, Connie? Did you have a nice Christmas? Because my fiancé and little girl certainly didn't, and they never will, thanks to you. And are you hiding at home in your locked apartment crying in the dark? Or have you moved on with your life, Star? Courtesy of little Michael, sweet, supportive great body so why don't you use it honey move on with your life and let me live mine i'm not going to let you enjoy anything because you killed cole and hope and you were wandering around free but that is all going to change connie i guarantee it i will make what sure you that you pay it, one star? day please uh, you threaten me every single time we can move on from this what, are you, I what obviously... was that what were you saying before you you didn't go to aj's for christmas eve no, yeah, he invited me just like you, but uh, 
I ended up spending the night with Star. So you, you're gonna distance yourself from, from AJ? No. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Because, you know, AJ's gonna disappoint you. I mean, look, you know, knowing AJ, he, he could do a hell of a lot worse. So I guess it's all I right. I know he's right? capable of some pretty shady stuff. I know. He actually admitted to setting you up the he other did? day. Yeah. Oh. He, he saw the text that right. I sent you. Right. He knew I was coming over, and he wanted to make sure I saw you going to work on him. No, he wanted uh, more than that. Because he sees you as, as a prize, something that he can win against your mother, against me. That he was wrong, and he admitted it. He's wrong about a lot of things. But still, he never had the chance to get to know me, and I'm gonna give him that chance. So you forgive him? I'm willing to try. Well, I hope he, he justifies your faith in him. Uh, I, I didn't want you to think I was trying to stay away from you or anything, or that I still blame you for the fight. But I, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I came down on you like that. I didn't have all the facts. You know what? I'm sorry. Because AJ deserved what he got, but you didn't. And I'm your father. And I, and I should have a hell of a lot more self-control. It's okay. It's, it's over now. I just want to, you know, forget about it. If you're gonna hand out second chances, you can give me one. Yeah, of course. Do you see the time? I know you're going through a lot, and I wish I could help. You showing up here like you did, it helps a lot. Since I couldn't wish you a Merry Christmas, I want to wish you a Happy New Year. How's that? Happy New Year, Dad. Look, AJ can't change the way I feel about you. Okay, but I, I, I'd like to have a relationship with him, and I'd like to get to know him. Sonny? Oh, you know what? I, yeah. I left a message with you because we were supposed to meet for talk. I know. Yeah. Uh, Christina has something that she would like to say to you. Okay. Should I leave you two? No, 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 stay. You might as well hear this, too. Dad? Yeah? Trey and I are moving to Los Angeles. What? You two are, are going to Los Angeles. Yes, I figured this would be a perfect chance for me to forget everything that happened this year and to start all over with, with Trey. What are you gonna do in Los Angeles? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be working as a PA. That's not what I mean. Okay, look, this isn't a scam. I'm not manipulating Christina. I simply asked her to come with me to L.A. and, you know, I care a lot about her, and I'm grateful that she said yes. You don't have to worry, Michael. I, I thought a lot about this, and I know it's right. Okay, I mean, if you're <clears throat> happy, I guess I'm happy for you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. What about you, Dad? I didn't hear anything. What are you talking about? It sounded like something fell. You know, Star, as much as I'm enjoying this little girl talk, I gotta go. So I'm gonna lock up. I'm guessing you didn't hear that either? Oh, that? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, Johnny's a pack rat, and he's got these files stacked from floor to ceiling. One of them must have fallen over. What are you hiding in there, Connie? You know what, Starfish? This none of your business, and if I were you, I'd get the hell out of here. Luckily for me, I'm not you. I'm going in. Move over. Dad, say something, please. So you're gonna follow this guy all the way to California? Over my dead body. Hey, you're not going Go. anywhere, you little brat. Try and stop me. Why do you care what's behind that door? Because whatever it is you're hiding, I can use it against you and make sure that you get locked up for the rest of your life. Yeah, why don't you try that? Stop coming! 